daily reminder that I'm just a girl doing the best that I can with the tools that I have, okay? Hey boo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back boo. We are going to be getting into a how I curl and style my hair video today because I get a million and one questions. I think I get at least 10 to 15 DMs a day. I'm not even joking. Like I can pop it up on the screen. I'm not joking. I get them all the time about my hair, how I style my hair, whatever the case may be. I know that when I didn't know how to curl my hair, I was on YouTube looking and searching. So I'm here to share with you guys how I curl my hair. I am not a professional. I always give the disclaimer. I'm just a regular, regular girl showing you how I do things over here. So if you're interested, keep watching. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment, like the video, subscribe, because we got more content coming for you guys all this Vlogtober. Let's get started with this curling tutorial. I'm actually gonna just walk you through all of the steps of how I manage my edges, everything all of the ordeal as I go through this process with you all. My edges are technically a little, just a little bit, just a little bit laid because yesterday I actually um, kind of went through this process already and then I just sleep with a scarf on. So it, so once I wake up in the morning and remove my scarf, my edges are still intact and looking good. But we could definitely do a touch up. Okay, first order of business, since I'm gonna be straightening some of my natural hair in my leave out, is applying this OGX Penetrating Oil. It's kind of like a serum, and then I'm gonna layer it in some spots with the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Weightless Silky Shine Spray. I like to use both of them, and sometimes when I feel like my hair already has like a, a nice like feel to it, I might just use the spray to kind of just give it that nice sleek shine. And you don't need to go crazy, just a little bit of this goes a long way. Just gonna put it all over my leave out. So getting that all over my leave out, around my edges as well. And I'll sometimes bring it down to the extensions. And then we're gonna follow up with the Tresemme spray. And I just kind of put that all over as well, even on the ends and on my edges. And I'll just make sure that it's kind of like all over. If I need to add more as I'm straightening, I will, but that's just to kind of kick us off. I don't always straighten my leave out because I don't always need to. And it just depends on like how perfect do I need it to look. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you like if you want it to look really good, this is what you do. And also, daily reminder that I'm just a girl doing the best that I can with the tools that I have, okay? So next up, we are gonna use our hot comb. And by the way, everything that I'm mentioning in this video will be linked in the description box down below. So we are going to use a hot comb mainly to get, I don't hot comb everything. I just hot comb what people can see. So where my part is, if there are any natural roots that are showing, I'm going to get them and make sure that they look, you know, they blend in with my extensions, that they're looking straight and they're looking good. So I don't do every single part of my hair. So just getting those roots. And then, like I mentioned, my edges are not looking too, too bad today. Normally, <laughs> it's crunchy. I get my edges as well, so I'll get in there and go right into my edges. And sometimes I do this side if I know I'm gonna be like, I like to play with my hair. So if I know I'm gonna be playing with my hair, especially in like videos and stuff like that, I'm gonna get these edges as well underneath here, just so that it doesn't look bad if I like run my fingers through my hair. And that's really all I do on this side. I don't do any like edge control on this side um, just because it is covered by the part. Okay, once we are done with that, I give that a good brush just so I can see what I'm working with. If I need to go in a little bit more with the hot comb or not. And we're looking good. Most days I will start curling from here because this looks, this is a good base for me to start curling. I feel good about it. But I'm just gonna show you guys that because I have a lot of my leave out out um, this time for this sew-in, normally we don't leave this much of my hair out. 
I want to make sure that these pieces are fully straight from top to the end. You can see the ends are not really straight. My hair is heat trained and I also have a hair Botox that I do typically every six months, but it has been almost a year since I've had one. So my hair is very much heat trained. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that all of my leave out is really nicely straightened so that when I curl my hair, everything is blending in really nicely. So what I'm going to do now is kind of just section off that little piece right there. And we are going to take our flat iron. I'm using the Babyless Titanium Pro, Nano Titanium Pro. And I'm just going to straighten that as best as I can. Now, if you have a comb, you could do the chase method. Like I said, I don't do everything 100% perfectly because I don't always have the time for that, but you can do that if you have the time. Um, and I also don't find it to be like 100% necessary, but you can definitely do that. Okay, I'm just gonna continue straightening. And I really only straighten the parts, like I mentioned, that are a little bit curling up still. They're not fully straightened and they probably wouldn't blend in with the curl as well if they weren't fully straightened. The other spot that I typically straighten is the front of my extensions right here. The front of my hair is a really monumental part of the way that I curl my hair. So I just want to make sure that there's no kinks, no curls here anything that will make it look bad if you want your curls to look really really good mind you my hair is not freshly clean so when you start to like notice that there's little bends and stuff in your hair it will show up in your curls if you don't curl like all the way from top to bottom so if you want to if you want it to look really really good make sure all of your hair is completely straightened um and that way you're you know you're no matter how you do your curl it's always gonna look nice and pressed out but for the most part i just focus on making sure that my leave out is blending in with my extensions to the best of my ability and then i always make sure that this front piece is fully straight so that when i do my my um my layers here it looks really good because that's like the part where people are most focusing on on or if they can see these are the pieces that frame your face so you want it to look really good this is typically when i would then lay my edges so i'm going to use the tresemme extra hold hairspray this is just my travel size because i'm out of my bigger size and i will just put just a little bit on my edges the other way that you can do this if you don't want to use heat is by doing this at nighttime, just putting it on and then you don't have to do anything crazy, but all you have to do at nighttime is just put that on and then kind of just comb through it either with an edge brush or with a comb like this and then wrap it with a scarf and it will give you basically the same results as this. But if you're just about to like, you know, head out the door and you're doing your hair to go somewhere, this is the way that you can kind of quickly do that. Put that hairspray on your edges just like that provide a little tension either with your hands or with a comb or an edge control brush and you'll already start to feel like it's shaping but then you're going to take a a blow dryer and you're going to blow dry this on a cool setting Okay, and that is what it looks like afterwards. I find that this holds way better than edge control, especially for me being in a very warm climate. I said warm, it's hot. It's hot as heck in Florida. So, so that tends to work the best for me. Okay, now it is time to curl. So I'm gonna start sectioning my hair. I tend to do one side at a time and I just grab a small piece about the size of my barrel. So shouldn't be more than an inch and a quarter width of hair. And then depending on whatever clips you wanna use, you can just clip your hair back. Sometimes I even use hair ties, but I'm just gonna use a claw clip because over here we are resourceful and we use what we have, okay? So I'm just clipping that back and then I will brush through this piece. 
and make sure that it's all ready to go. Once I have my piece ready to go, I'm gonna spray it with my Sebastian Shaper Plus um, hairspray. And this is really nice while you're doing your hair because it's not super, super crunchy or like a hard hold, but this is gonna make all the difference while you're curling your hair. And then afterwards, I might follow up with a stronger hairspray if I feel like I need that, especially being in Florida. So a lot of the things that I'm showing you guys is for a girl who lives in a really highly humid temperament. So we're using my T3 curling iron in the one and a quarter inch barrel, um, which is about the size of my hair that I've um, sectioned off here. I find the one and a quarter inch barrel is great if you are using extensions that are about this length. It's really nice to use. I can still use this this curling iron for shorter hair um, it's more about the thickness of the curl that you want so if you want that like va va voom voluminous curl this is a good size to go with and then normally like if i'm curling my natural hair which is about shoulder length but still about this thickness i might do an, an inch or i could still use this curling iron so don't know if you notice but i put the curling iron on about midway and I am just turning the curling iron as I feed more hair into it. So I'll show you on our second curl. But I'm doing that and kind of just holding it, giving it a few seconds for it to take the heat and for it to curl until I get all of the hair into the barrel. Once I have all of the hair into the barrel, I'm just gonna curl it up to the top and hold it for 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna release. And you should have a really nice curl. Now my problem is I like to play with my hair, but the best way to maintain these curls is to let them sit and cool off and wait until you're done to actually comb through them. So moving on to the next section, I'm gonna take about the same, same amount of hair Continue to section this off. I'm very generous. Heavy handed, you would say. <laughs> and we brush through it again, making sure that it's the spray is distributed throughout. And we want our curls to look like voluminous va va voom curls. We don't want them to look like Shirley, Shirley Temple curls. So we're curling backwards. We're curling so the curls go away from our face, not towards our face. Towards our face is the 90s, like, you know, Shirley Temple curls, we're not doing childish curls over here. We're doing the va va voom, okay? So, you see I put the curling iron at the top and as I'm going down, I go about midway and then I start curling backwards. My curling iron is going away from me, going away from my face and I'm turning it and turning my hand, pulling the hair and as I'm curling, as I'm twirling this around, I'm allowing for more hair to come into the clamp by opening the clamp. I'm opening the clamp, letting more hair in, and curling. Opening the clamp, letting more hair in, and curling. Opening the clamp, letting more hair in, and curling. Gonna continue to do that until all of the hair is in. Once all of the hair is in, we're gonna count to 10. Okay, don't miss out on this part because this is gonna be the defining moment for your curl. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm taking the clamp and opening it up and allowing for the, the hair to just slide off of the curling iron. That's a nice curl. You see these curls? Okay, I'm not gonna touch them. See, if y'all was not here, I would be touching the curls, but I'm gonna play nice and I'm gonna do the way I'm supposed to do it, but I love playing in hair, so that is my biggest, my biggest issue. But my hair always turns out pretty good anyway, but if you allow the curls to really sit and cool off, you're gonna be really happy with your result, and also your curls are gonna last longer throughout the day as well. Okay, this is my last curl that I'm gonna do with y'all, and then I'll speed this up so that we can move on to the other side. Brushing that through. Shaper Plus Spray. Brush it through one more time. Okay. 
And we're gonna curl away from our face. I'm opening the clamp, twirling the hair back, that's extra. Opening the clamp, letting more hair in, and curling the iron. Opening the clamp, letting more hair in, curling the iron. Opening the clamp, letting more hair in, and opening the iron. And then we're, ooh, it's a little loose because I think I let it open for too long. So all of the hair is in. We're going to hold this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it go. Release it. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of the side and I will circle back on the other side. All right, boo, we are back and I have curled this full side of my hair and I've curled basically all of this side as well. Just left a few pieces so that you guys can see how I actually do this. And the reality is it's the same as this side, but because you are on another side, you're just gonna remember that you are curling away from your face. So we have a couple of regular curls here and then we're gonna dive into the bang area. So just following the same steps that we did on the other side. Just running my fingers through my curl, through my hair, excuse me. Putting our hairspray on. Brushing through that. Grab my flat iron and we're putting it in here and we're gonna curl away from our face again. Now just remember that you're curling away from your face no matter what side you're on, but it, you might find it easier to do it on one side than the other. Like I'm left-handed and for some reason curling the left side is the hardest for me. It's easier for me to curl the right side. So I'm just mindful of that, but it's basically the same process. You're just curling away from your face, opening the clamp, letting more hair in, curling away from the face. We just have this little bit here left, opening the clamp, Opening the clamp, letting more hair in. Like I find that it's an easier and smoother process for me on the right side, but on the left side, we still get it done. We get it done, baby. But that's just the reality, you know? You, you learn and you grow through these process of beauty, you know, beauty processes, whatever the case may be. So now we're holding for 10 seconds. Now, a lot of times I used to still release like this, but lately I have been turning it over to release like this, and it seems to hold the curl a bit better. Just holding on to that, and then let it go. We've got a curl, ladies and gentlemen, and we probably just have a few more here. And Really, I'm mentioning the bang area. It's all the same. We're just curling away from our face and you're gonna notice that as the pieces get shorter, you just kind of hold your iron maybe a little differently or however you want your hair to really fall. Brushing through that. So once I get up here, I'm curling, you know, still away from my face, but just how I want the curl to fall. So curling away from my face and holding it kind of towards the back because this hair is gonna go back here. I also, when I get closer to the front, I curl a little bit tighter just because, um, once again, those are the face framing curls. I really want the layers to be shown. And I also want those curls to hold really nicely throughout the day because they are like the front pieces that everyone sees. So you want them to be curled nicely so that they can hold a curl throughout the day. But we're just curling the same way, like nothing is changing at all. That was me counting to 10 in my head. You see, I let it, I released it the other way that I normally do, but it's still fine. Um, I 
think it's just like a personal preference. I do think turning it over for some reason allows the curl to come out a little bit better or a little tighter, I should say. Okay, so we got like two more curls here. So this is part of our layered bang. I'm gonna make sure she sprayed very nicely. Brush that spray out, make sure it's covering all of the strands. Taking our curling iron from the top, gonna slowly curl. Gonna take my time with these last two because I wanna make sure that the curls are tight. Slowly curl, opening the clamp. Opening the clamp. You don't wanna leave the clamp on it for too long because you don't want it to leave a dent. Opening the clamp, turn. I think we've almost got everything in there. Holding. I'm gonna try turning this over to let the hair out. Nice. Nice tight curl right there. And it'll fall. We'll comb it out and you'll see exactly how it looks. And then we have our last curl right here. A little dramatic with the spray there. Okay, we are opening the clamp, putting our hair in, and curling, curling. I think I left a little piece where I can fix that. Okay, let's hold. And then we're gonna let it go. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Might just pop a little, I don't even think I need to fix that curl because it's, it's blending in. All right, so we are all curled. So now it is time to let our hot curls sit, but we can already start playing around with this side. You're gonna want a wide tooth comb to go ahead and just comb out these curls. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see. I'm just combing out these curls now, where my natural hair is, I may wanna play around with it, you never know, but I really just play around just making sure that it'll sit nice and layered. There you go. It's blending in nicely. And these curls, I can tell, are going to really stay a long time because they're nice and bouncy right now. Like I told y'all, I'd be playing around with my hair while I'm curling it, so. They don't always stay as long as I want to. But I'm just gonna comb this out. And you can see how everything is kind of coming to life the way that we want to. I love playing with the front of my hair, so I like to layer it like that. <laughs> I love dramatic curls and dramatic layers so because um my hairstylist left out more leave out than i normally have i might just norm what i've been doing i should say is tucking it in i've been tucking it behind my ear because i like the way that that looks i could just curl it again to like the front pieces if i really want to but you probably won't have as much leave out as i have out this is not normal for me to have that much leave out out but this is how I curl my hair 
And that is it. That's how I curl my hair, how I style my hair. I'll have some details about my extensions in the description box down below, but I get my extensions from my hairstylist. She sells her extensions um, just you know, she has her own extension line. So if you want to purchase from her, feel free to visit her website to purchase extensions. But that is all for today. Let me know if you like this video, if you have more questions about how I care for my hair or anything else that you want me to, you know, share with you guys throughout Vlogtober or moving forward, go ahead and comment them down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your girl is here on YouTube and here to stay. So stay tuned for more content. Bye, boo.